Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Alba and I absolutely love to travel. I've been lucky enough to travel the Philippines for two weeks and I am currently in El Nido. Firstly, when we arrived, we weren't 100% sure if we liked it better than the other places that we had been because Chagao was really high up our rankings. However, as the days went by, we started seeing a little bit more of these places that are so famous and we understood what the hype is about. So, a couple of things that you need to know is obviously El Nido is the most famous location so expect a lot more tourists when we were getting the tours there was like so many people getting the other boats um, so hopefully you hop on a tour that uh, they are smart and they take you to the locations when there's not that many people secondly the town is more expensive than other locations in the Philippines so the hotels you have to be very careful um, you might end up paying a, quite a lot of money for a hotel that's pretty mediocre and that happened to us on the, our first two nights then we moved to a better hotel that was quite pricey as well I do think that if you have a little bit more money saved save it for a need of a good accommodation like we did we, we split it in two because we couldn't afford this hotel for the four nights but look at it it's amazing I think it's definitely worth the money look at the views the pool and we watched the most amazing sunset yesterday So the most famous things to do in El Nido is taking a boat tour to go see these amazing locations that are actually in the sea. So if you come to El Nido, you will see that people are selling four types of tours. Those are tour A, B, C and D. And the most famous ones are tour A and tour C, which are the ones we did. So tour A is the one where you are allowed to go into the big lagoon, which is the most famous spot in Anido and you definitely have to go see is the one we would recommend if you can only do one tour is to do that one so you can see the big lagoon now in terms of pricing you will see in the posters and in the tour agencies that the pricing is 1200 pesos however on top of that you have to include an environmental fee to go into this location in El Nido for 200 pesos per person and you also have to pay a 200 pesos additional fee to enter the locations now you need to remember that the environmental fee actually lasts for 10 days so if you pay it once you can use it for the other tours as well and you don't have to pay it again so the total price will be 1600 pesos for the tour a however you can definitely um pull this price down by negotiating with the tour guides and for us they left it as 1400 pesos including all the additional fees now tour c is the second most famous tour because Honestly, the views and the beaches that you get to explore are so, so beautiful. We were not too unlucky, but a little bit because it was a bit wavy in certain locations. There were some jellyfishes, um, but the other half of the beaches were like um, clear, crystal blue and flat water. So it was really nice. And I can't recommend it enough because it really allows you to see what El Nido is famous for and that is those rock formations, those uh, white sandy, sandy beaches and most importantly you get to do a lot of snorkeling and see a lot of colorful fishes which is absolutely beautiful but if you have two days definitely do tour A first and then tour C. We're about to go on our second tour uh, it's gonna be tour C uh, in which we're meant to do a lot of snorkeling so we'll see how it goes. so much for watching hit the subscribe button if you like this video and hopefully see you again next time good that's good you happy are you still recording yeah <laughs> do you think do you think go to the pool let's go pool, pool, go pool. on jump in the pool <laughs> 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 <laughs>